Hi, this is Gary with Mac Most Now. On today's episode, let's look at using multiple monitors with your Mac. So Macs have always been great at allowing you to hook up more than one monitor. As a matter of fact, all the iMacs that have been out for a while now have had a video port on the back that you can use to hook up a second monitor. All the MacBooks, of course, come with video out. And the Mac Pros usually come with two video outs, allowing you to hook up two monitors. The first thing you need to do, of course, is get a second monitor. You have to see what type of input it takes. You should get something with at least DVI. A VGA input that's so old school and it's not as good a quality connection as DVI. You can get a DVI LCD display pretty cheap now. Now it's the matter of hooking up your Mac's port to that monitor. So it depends on what you've got. If you have a new Mac, you've got the mini display port out and need to get an adapter, go to from mini display port to DVI. If you have an older Mac, you may already have DVI or may have a simpler connection like mini DVI and you just have to get the right adapter to go to DVI to hook up the second monitor. Now once you have two monitors hooked up, you want to go to your system preferences and go to display preferences and this is where you control how your Mac uses that second monitor. So here we are in the display preferences and you can see the normal tab display allows you to look at the different uh, resolutions for the current display. You can click gather windows and it will show you both windows for both displays. Otherwise it displays each of those windows on its own display. Then if you go to arrangements, you can decide how you want these monitors to line up. In other words, how the cursor goes from one screen to the other. You can basically click and drag your second monitor around to show where it should be relative to the first monitor. You can play with different settings. Just drop it and it will change it. And then you can test out your new arrangement and try another one. Now another thing you can do in arrangements is decide where the menu bar goes. You click and drag the menu bar and you can drag it to one monitor or the other. This gives you control of which is the primary monitor where the menu bar will be displayed. Now if you check off show displays in menu bar, then you'll be able to control a lot of this through the menu bar icon here. You can change the resolutions, turn on mirroring. You can also show the number of recent resolutions for each monitor and go to the display's preferences very easily. Mirroring displays is mostly used when you're making a presentation using a projector. And the projector doesn't have to be the same resolution as your primary display, like on your MacBook. It'll just take the lowest common denominator and use that. Now if you do hook up your MacBook to a projector often, then you're going to use the detect displays command that you saw there in the drop down menu. This allows it to see the display if it doesn't happen to notice it when you first plug it in. Getting multiple monitors can be very useful, especially with a lot of LCD displays being under $200 or even around $100. You can hook up a second monitor and then get that much more desktop space out of your Mac. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.